Have you ever pondered the number of galaxies that existed at the dawn of the universe? It's a question that can boggle the mind, considering the sheer vastness of cosmos that surrounds us. But to begin this journey, we must first turn back the clock to a time when our universe was just a newborn. Let's talk about the Big Bang Theory, the widely accepted explanation for the birth of our universe. Imagine, if you will, a singularity, a point of infinite density and heat that was the entire universe. It's a concept that challenges the limits of our understanding, yet it is from this intense, fiery point that our universe sprung forth. In a spectacular explosion of energy and matter, the universe began to rapidly expand and cool. This was not an explosion in the typical sense, but an expansion of space itself. And from this fiery birth, the universe as we know it began to take shape. In the aftermath of the Big Bang, the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. Picture this, a realm of unimaginable heat and density, so intense that even the fundamental building blocks of matter couldn't hold themselves together. This was our universe, a mere fractions of a second after the Big Bang. It was a place of chaos, a frenzied dance of particles and forces, where the rules of the game were still being written. In this seething cauldron, the first atoms began to take shape. As the universe expanded and cooled, particles of matter started to combine, giving birth to the first hydrogen and helium atoms, the most basic elements in the periodic table. This era, known as nucleosynthesis, was a crucial chapter in the universe's early history. It set the stage for everything that was to come. But let's pause for a moment and consider this. Even in these early moments, the universe wasn't silent or dark. It was filled with a vibrant, glowing light, a cosmic afterglow of the Big Bang. This is what we now call the cosmic microwave background radiation. It's like the universe's own baby picture, a snapshot of a time when the cosmos was just 380,000 years old. This radiation, which fills every corner of the universe, is a testament to those fiery early days. It's our best evidence for the Big Bang and provides a wealth of information about the universe's early conditions. By studying it, scientists can piece together the events that unfolded in the universe's infancy. So here we are. The stage is set. The universe has cooled down enough for atoms to form, and the cosmic microwave background radiation is humming in the background. From this point, the cosmos took its next big step. This period set the stage for the formation of the first galaxies. Imagine a universe with only 717 galaxies. It may seem like a staggering number, but when you consider that there are now over 2 trillion galaxies, it puts things into perspective. This is not the product of a science fiction writer's imagination, but the conclusion drawn from recent research. The early universe, it seems, was a much lonelier place than what we see today. A vast cosmic expanse, peppered with these 717 islands of matter, each on their journey to becoming a full-fledged galaxy. But how did these galaxies come into being? The answer lies in the primordial soup of the universe, a mixture of gas and dark matter. These ingredients, under the right conditions, began to clump together, forming the seeds of what would eventually become galaxies. Gravity played a pivotal role in this process. It's the cosmic glue that pulled these clouds of gas and dark matter together. As these clouds grew denser, they sparked the birth of stars within them. The stars began to cluster together, forming the skeletal structure of a galaxy. But these weren't the grand spirals or elliptical galaxies we are familiar with today. They were small, irregular, and chaotic. Yet within them, the foundations of the universe as we know it were being laid. These early galaxies were the building blocks of the cosmos. They were the seeds from which the universe's grand design sprouted. From these humble beginnings, the universe grew, evolved, and transformed into the wondrous expanse we see today. These were the building blocks of the universe, the seeds from which everything we see today grew. From these humble beginnings, the universe has grown into a vast expanse filled with billions of galaxies. But how did we get from a universe with just 717 galaxies to one teeming with billions? The answer lies in the process of galactic growth and evolution. Galaxies, much like living organisms, grow and evolve over time. They are born, they mature, they interact, and sometimes they even merge with other galaxies. 
These galactic mergers are spectacular events, often resulting in a burst of new star formation and the creation of a larger, more massive galaxy. This process of interaction and merging explains the diverse range of galaxy types we see in the universe today, from spiral galaxies like our own Milky Way to the giant elliptical galaxies found at the centers of galaxy clusters. But galaxies aren't just shaped by their interactions with other galaxies. They're also influenced by the invisible forces of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter, an unseen form of matter that makes up about 85% of the universe's matter, helps to bind galaxies together. It forms a kind of cosmic scaffolding around which galaxies form and evolve. Dark energy, on the other hand, is driving the expansion of the universe. It's a mysterious force that works against the pull of gravity causing galaxies to move away from each other at an accelerating rate. This expansion doesn't just affect the space between galaxies, but also plays a role in shaping the structure of the universe and the evolution of galaxies within it. So when we look at a galaxy, we're not just seeing a collection of stars. We're seeing a dynamic, evolving system shaped by both visible and invisible forces and constantly changing over cosmic time. Galaxies are not just collections of stars, but dynamic, evolving systems. Where do we fit into this cosmic story? Well, let's start with our own neighborhood, the Milky Way. It's a barred spiral galaxy made up of hundreds of billions of stars, and it's just one of an estimated two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. Our sun, a rather ordinary star, is located in one of its spiral arms, about 27,000 light years from the galactic center. The Milky Way, like all galaxies, is not an island. It's part of a local group of about 54 galaxies, gravitationally bound together in a cosmic dance. This local group is just a tiny speck in the grand scheme of things, nestled within the Virgo supercluster, which in turn is part of an even larger structure called the Laniakea supercluster, and that's just the observable universe, the full extent of the universe, if not infinite, is at least much larger than what we can see, so where are we headed? Well, the universe is expanding and this expansion is accelerating. This means that galaxies are drifting further and further apart. In many billions of years, the night sky will look very different, with many of the distant galaxies we see today no longer visible from our vantage point. And what about us, on our little blue dot? We are an integral part of this cosmic story. Every atom in our bodies was once inside a star that exploded, spreading its elements across the universe. We are quite literally made of stardust. So as we gaze up at the night sky, let's remember that we are not separate from the cosmos. We are a part of it, connected to every star, every galaxy, every atom in the universe. We are but a small part of an ever-expanding cosmic tapestry, a testament to the incredible journey that began with just 717 galaxies. The story of the universe is a tale of creation, growth, and evolution. And what a tale it has been. From the inception of the cosmos with just 717 galaxies to the ever-expanding, ever-evolving universe we are a part of today. We've journeyed together through the early universe, witnessing the birth of the first galaxies and marveled at their growth and evolution over billions of years. We've also explored our own place in this vast cosmic tapestry, a tiny speck amidst galaxies, yet a part of something infinitely grand. The story of the universe is not static, but a dynamic narrative that changes as we delve deeper into the cosmos, making new discoveries, challenging old notions, and expanding our understanding. We are, in essence, cosmic detectives, piecing together the grand puzzle of the universe. And with every piece we find, we change the picture, reshaping our knowledge and understanding. As we continue to gaze upwards and explore the cosmos, who knows what other fascinating revelations